Hello everyone. My name is Gajendra Das Sharma and you are watching Inglit and in this video we are going to solve 10 important questions on editing error that have been already asked in previous TGT and PGT examinations. The solution and explanation of these questions will help you have a clear idea of what kind of questions will be asked in future examinations and how to solve them correctly. So let us start the video. The very first question that was asked in PGT 2013. You have to identify the error. 10 miles are not a long distance. So the error lies in 10 miles are not or a long distance or there is no error. The correct answer will be B. 10 miles is not a long distance. Actually there are certain plural expressions with singular verbs and among them they are there are amounts and quantities. So when we talk about amounts or quantities, we always take with them singular determiners, verbs or pronouns, even though the noun is plural. So here in this case, plural expressions, they can have singular verb, singular determiner or singular pronoun. So here 10 miles are not individual miles. 10 miles is a distance. It denotes a distance. So when it denotes distance and distance is singular and as such it will take singular verb. It will be is rather than are. We can cite other examples for it this as well. Where is that five pounds? I lent you. So here five pounds is the amount rather than five individual pounds. Other example more than 40 inches of snow has fallen on the city. So here we are talking about 40 inches. It is the quantity. It is the amount rather than 40 separate in inches. So here we are talking about the thickness of the layer, layer of snow. So as such thickness is singular. So it has taken has singular verb with it. So in such cases, in all such cases where we are talking about amounts or quantity it may refer to distance or duration like five hours is a long time so here we are not talking about five individual separate hours we are talking about duration so when we are talking about duration distance amount thickness so they will always take singular verb pronouns or determiners Meanwhile, let me tell you that Unacademy has brought end of 2020 mega batch launch. They are starting new batches for NTA, NET, Paper 1 and various other subjects of Paper 2. So they are starting multiple batches for UGC NET. And the batches are starting from 22nd of December and they will help you crack UGC NET examination. With the help of these batches, you can boost your preparation and build your concepts. The top educators will be covering the complete syllabus of paper 1 and various subjects of paper 2. These courses have been curated in such a way that includes strategy, tips, tricks, practice questions and time management techniques for NTA NET JRF 2021. You can enroll right now before the price hikes by the link that is given in the description box below. Only a few days left for the price hike it will be from 25th of december so before it you can enroll yourself and get the benefit of the existing subsidized or discounted rates the batches have already begun from 22nd of december so as it is shown in the picture that various educators have started their batches or will be starting their batches on certain dates you can refer to that and enroll yourself accordingly next question the director failed in films after films which he directed. The error is in A, B, C or there is no error. The correct answer is it is again B. The error lies in this B option. When we make a compound word with the help of some preposition. So the nouns are always in singular. Hence the answer will be film after film rather than films after films. We talk about day after day, night after night. So we mean by these kind of expression to do something repeatedly. When something is done repeatedly 
or in a monotonous way so we use the preposition after in order to make a compound word and in that word the nouns that we are using will be in singular always so it will be film after film day after day month after month and the like next question scarcely he had entered the room when i recognized him so where lies the mistake whether in a option is scarcely he or in b entered the room or in c when or in d i recognized him the correct answer will be a the mistake lies here in this a option actually with the words like hardly scarcely seldom rarely little or never or no sooner when these words are used in restrictive sense so we use inversion order inversion order is just like interrogative sentence interrogative sentence word order so just like in interrogation what we do wh word or helping verb then helping verb then subject and then verb so the same kind of order will be followed here in inversion when we are using these words in front position this is applicable only when these words are used in front position so we'll use these words then helping verb and then subject and then main verb hardly and scarcely if we use so the conjunction will be when so it will be scarcely had he had he entered the room when i recognized or seldom have i seen such a remarkable creature so seldom have i this usage is also called literary uses so in inversion or in literary uses the word order is just like an interrogative sentence or little one little did i realize the danger i faced about its literary use you can also refer to the poem of wordsworth 10000 saw i at a glance so here also 10000 in front position and then verb and then subject next question you will either have to improve your work or i shall have to dismiss you from school and the mistake lies in this first option a you will either have to improve your work or i shall have to dismiss you from school actually when we join two expression with either or neither nor both and not only but also we use these expressions before the similar kind of expressions they will be used either before the verbs or the nouns or the pronouns so if either is followed by a noun or will also be followed by a noun if either is followed by a verb so or will be followed by a verb if either is followed by a pronoun so or will be followed by either pronoun or noun so the same kind of structure will be followed here in all these expressions now if you look at this sentence you will either have to work improve your work or i shall here or is followed by a pronoun and here either is followed by a verb so there the balance has not been considered so it should be either you will have to improve your work or i shall have to dismiss you from the school so if you are using either or neither nor or these expressions before a noun so the other expression also be followed by noun if you are using before verbs the other expression should also be verb here you will see one expression either is followed by a verb and or is followed by a pronoun so it should be either either or or before the verbs or before the nouns or pronouns you can have other examples as well you can have either coffee or cold drink so here either or or they are followed by two nouns wrong expression would be either you can have coffee or cold drink next question much of your success and prosperity in life depend upon your own efforts which part has the mistake whether a much of your success or b and prosperity in life or c depend upon or d or your own efforts and the correct answer is it is c option actually when you solve such kind of questions the very first thing you have to consider is the rule sspp singular verb singular subject plural verb plural subject that is subject verb agreement concurred so in many of the questions there are this kind of mistakes sspp1 and for that purpose you have to understand the nature of the subject so if we talk about the subject part of the sentence here it is much of your success and prosperity in life this is the subject part and this part is predicate and now in the subject itself 
वी हैव टू कंसिडर द कोर वर्ड द हेड वर्ड विच विल बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर योर नंबर एंड हेयर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस थिंग सो मच दिस नाउन और प्रनाउन इफ इट इज फॉलोड बाय ऑफ एंड देन देर इज अदर पार्ट द फ्रेज सो वील कंसिडर ओनली दिस नाउन और प्रनाउन for its correlation with the verb rather than the entire phrase so here we we can consider the number of noun and pronoun and if we think about much so much is singular number singular pronoun much of your success and prosperity in life so we'll consider only much much is singular and the verb it takes is depends and depends if we think it is plural verb verb in its original form is always plural so singular pronoun singular subject is being followed by plural verb here lies the mistake so it should be depends much of your success and prosperity in life depends upon your own efforts so the subject should be in correlation with the verb it takes if it is singular so the verb should be singular if it is plural verb should be plural next question two weeks have passed since i have seen him so which part has the mistake whether a two weeks or b have passed or c since or d i have seen him the correct answer is it is i have seen him the d part actually when since is used as a conjunction and it can be used in two ways conjunction of time or of cause so here if we use the conjunction since the conjunction of time it always uses past tense since can also be used as a preposition it can be used as an adverb as well but when it is used as a conjunction and it uh, is used to join the adverb clause of time so it is always followed by past tense so the correct answer will be i saw him two weeks have passed since i saw him two weeks here it it refers to two separate weeks two individual weeks we are not talking about the duration of time we are talking about two weeks individually that's why we have used here in plural sense two weeks plural subject and the verb it takes plural so you should not get confused with the first question next question which one of the following sentence is correctly joined no sooner had he boarded the train than it started to move no sooner did we boarded the train than the train then it started to move no sooner had we boarded the train than it moves no sooner had we boarded the train when it started to move so the correct answer is a no sooner had we boarded the train than it started to move it fulfills two conditions when no sooner is used in restrictive sense and in front position so it is used in inversion order so here no sooner is in front position and in restrictive sense so it follows the inversion helping verb and then subject so here it is following this condition and if it is had so it is followed by the third form here up to this it is correct and then it fulfills the second condition it is followed by the conjunction then then it is started and the tense will be in past we are starting with past so we'll be carrying it forward in past tense only why these three options are incorrect let us see no sooner did we board so did and boarded there is no symmetry when we use did so it will be board rather than boarded so here it is wrong no sooner had we boarded the train than it moves so up to here it follows correctly but then after in this second clause the tense is present which is incorrect let us discuss this fourth one no sooner had we boarded the train here it is okay but the conjunction it takes with it it is when when is used with scarcely and hardly rather than with no sooner no sooner takes it then only so here the first option is correct so in this question you have to tell which of the following option is grammatically correct your seeing this film will be objected to your having seen this film will be objected to your seeing this film will be objected to your will be seeing this film will be objected to the correct answer is first your seeing this film will be objected to actually it fulfills a condition seeing is gerund 
and gerund is used as a noun and noun is used as a subject and here your sing is a noun phrase noun phrase all is used as a subject so why it is noun phrase sing is gerund and your is its qualifier the possessive adjective though it is subject and it takes its verb and it takes this film as its object object to this verb so it is verbal noun it is acting as an it is acting as a noun but it will take its object as a verb as well so you are seeing this film is the subject and verb will be will be objected to it is correct let us talk about these other options why they are incorrect you are having seen if it is having so having is followed by seen rather than seeing you are having seen this film will be objected to so if it had been seen it could be correct yours seeing yours is possessive pronoun and possessive pronoun cannot be followed by any object any noun it is complete in itself so yours seeing is incorrect last one your will be your be seeing your be seeing is not an expression in any way possible so the first option is correct next question this car is superior and more costly than the one i have which part has the mistake this car is superior and more costly or than the one i have and the correct answer is b it should be is superior to rather than is superior now let us talk why it is incorrect when two expressions are joined with the help of conjunction and they should be complete in itself and if both these expressions have their separate verbs and separate prepositions so they should be individually and separately mentioned here these two expressions superior and more costly though they are in same degree comparative but their usage is different more costly can be followed by then it is correct comparative degree is followed by then but superior is followed by to and if we don't use to after superior so it will be deemed that superior then and more costly then so more costly can be followed by then but superior cannot be followed by then it is always followed by to so two should be mentioned separately this is also applicable when we use helping verbs let us take the example of verb as well so if we use two different kinds of verbs joined by and so they should be separately mentioned the verb phrase should be clear or complete in itself at both the places like he has and will always remain loyal here the the problem is has is followed by third form will is followed by first form will here is complying this verb remain complies the will but remain does not comply the verb has so here it should be clearly and separately mentioned he has remained and will always remain remain loyal otherwise this remain will work with both has and will which is incorrect the similar condition is with prepositions or conjunctions as well if two different expressions which are joined by and have their different uses different prepositions do they should be clearly separately mentioned at both the places next question pick the simple sentence for the following complex one he worked hard that he might pass the examination it is complex sentence it has two clauses he worked hard the other clause that he might pass the examination this is principal clause and this is subordinate clause adverb clause adverb clause of purpose now we have to make it simple simple it means there should be single clause sentence and there there should not be two partitions of the sentence it should have only one subject and one verb and it can have some non finite verbs but there should not be any clause he worked as hard as he could so that he might pass so that is conjunction and then it makes a clause so it is not the answer he worked hard because he wanted because is also conjunction and it makes a clause so here it is not the answer he worked hard to pass the exam so to pass when we use infinitive so we use infinitive for the purpose as well and here the adverb clause of purpose 
was there in our complex sentence so that he might pass the examination can be converted with the help of infinitive to pass the examination so this is the correct answer he worked hard so that again so that he could pass the examination so again it is a separate clause so the only sentence which does not have any clause is c and which fulfills the purpose of this adverb clause of purpose so this is the correct answer so that is all for now hopefully the solution and the explanation of these questions have cleared some of your doubts regarding these grammatical questions and concepts we'll come very soon with yet another video on certain topic with explanation and solution of some questions we'll come very soon with yet another video on certain topic with comprehensive explanation so till then stay tuned like this video share it among your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe it right now so that you keep receiving these videos at the earliest thanks for watching